I'm gonna show you how to create printable thank you cards with Canva for your KDP coloring books if you sell outside of Amazon, but stick around to the end because that's where I'll be showing you how to use Canva AI. So first things first, if you've never used Canva, it is free to get started. You would just click on my link in the description and you can sign up to Canva for absolutely free. I do currently use the pro version because it unlocks additional features. And if you do want to give Canva Pro a try, use that same link in the description and you can get a free 30 day trial. Now I've already created thank you cards for my coloring book business because if you follow this channel, then you know that I don't only sell coloring books on Amazon KDP, but I also sell my coloring books using my own website as well. When I use my own website, I like to include a thank you card with the purchase. So since I am getting ready to reorder some, I figured I'd also show you guys how I created them. So my thank you card is seven by five inches. Let's say you also wanted to do a thank you card with that same custom size. When you're getting started from the homepage, you'll come here and click on custom size. And then you would be able to put in your width and height here. So seven by five inches. And then we're gonna click on create new design. That will bring up the blank template that you would use to get started. Now let's say you were browsing on Etsy for thank you cards and you already have a bit of inspiration of what you may want your thank you card to look like. Then you can definitely use your inspiration to start creating from a blank template if you already had an idea in your head. But if you did not have an idea, I'm gonna show you a way that you can use Canvas templates to make creating your thank you card simple. All right, so we're back on the home page and from the home page, we are just going to type in the search bar, thank you card. And when you start typing, you'll notice that it'll come up. So once you scroll down, you'll see all of these Canva templates, including creating a blank thank you card. But these are templates that are already pre-made. And if you scroll down and see one that you like, you can start customizing yours using that specific template. So for example, let's say I like this one. Then you can click on it to see the details. You can also see more that are similar to that same style of card down here when you scroll down. Then you can click on any of those. And so once you decide, okay, I like this one, you can go ahead and click on customize this template here. So this will give you the full design that you can then start customizing to make your own. Even if you are in the blank template because you wanted a specific custom size, you can still come here to design. And then once you click on design, you can still search for thank you cards in the template section here. And you'll also get a list of them that you can just move to your custom size and it'll already fit inside of the custom size that you want it. So let's say we want to start working with this one. You can come here. If you like the font of the thank you, you could keep it. If you wanted to change the font, you would just click on the font tab and then start going down to play with different types of fonts. You can even make the font smaller. You can increase the size. You can make it bold if that's an option for the font. You can delete things. If you delete something by accident, you can come here and click on undo. It'll bring it back. You could change it up to whatever you want. A lot of times with thank you cards, you'll see like a discount code or something like that because basically they're using the discount code as a way to order something again. It's like just saying thank you for your purchase. So for example, this says, thank you so much for your purchase. To show our love, please enjoy 25% off your next order. So if you wanted to do a discount of 15%, you can change it. Here's where you can put your logo, your company name, and then you just want to make sure you include some type of way for your customers to connect with you. So whether that's your website or your social media platforms, you just wanna make sure you have that on your thank you card as well. Since I already have a thank you card that I use, I'm just gonna show you how I designed mine. With my card, it's front and back. So with one side of the card, I have thank you for your purchase here. And then I hope this package reminds you to take a break and unwind because of course I have a coloring book company is all about self care and relaxation. I have my social media information as well as my website entrepreneurs color too. And then on the other side of the card, I have exhale sis and then my company name color create and relax. So with my thank you card, I actually love the cursive font. So I'm going to add a page. So let's say for example, if I come here to design and I see that this one has the cursive font that I like, you can either click on it and come to the font style and that font is daydream. So you would just be able to change your font to that font. 
But for some reason, this font that I chose for the thank you must have been saved as like a photo or something under one of the old fonts. I don't know because I did it a while ago. So what I would do in this instance, if I found a font that was like that, I would just simply highlight that specific font and then go to copy. And then I would just paste that font onto the page like that. With mine, I guess this was like a photo font because when I click on it, I don't have the font option. But when I click on this part, I have the font option. And the font is uh, called the something script. So let's say I came back here and then I wanted to do for your purchase, but I wanted to change it to the something script. I would just come here and find that one and then voila. And then I also have a black background so we could change this to black. Lord, I done covered up my text. What color is my text? Lord. So the thank you is white. So let's come here and make this white. And then we, we can make this that yellow color. So thank you for your purchase. Or what color is this? More like a brownish golden instead of a yellow. So I'll just copy and paste that code. Come here and then I'll plug that code in there. And then we have, thank you for your purchase. And then we have, I hope this package reminds you to take a break and unwind. And this is, um, monitor app. And it is 13 for the font size, 13.8. This purchase reminds you to take a break and relax and unwind. And then for the find us on, all I did was came and went to elements and I got a, like a square outline or something like that. And then I just brought it over here resized it and then I made the outline white find us on and then I put that in there came back to elements and do a little link icon make it white so we can do the link icon. And then I also have a Instagram icon and Facebook icon. Come back to elements, we have Instagram icon. And then you can keep the sizes the same as well. Like when you come and you click on the icon when you're resizing it, you can see where it says width is Point 0.3 and height is point 0.3. So you can do this for the same when you're point 0.3, point 0.3. And then Facebook icon, or Facebook logo. I don't know. Y'all, I did. I made this a while back, so it may not have the same exact icons, but you would just look through and find one that you like. And then we got to just back down. And then I just added my um, website information as well as my social media information. And so you can do this exact same thing even if you're using a template. Let's say you don't want the flowers, then you can remove the flowers. Or let's say you want to keep the flowers and you want to change the color of the flowers. You can do that as well. You can literally design it however you'd like. So once I have the front and the back of the card design, you can come in and you can give your file a name. Entrepreneur's Color 2 Thank You Card. For some reason, you're not seeing where it says print with Canva. Then you can also come here where it says share. And then you can come to print with Canva here. And sometimes when you get ready to click on it, you'll actually see where it says product catalog. So if you're looking for this type of card that we just created, the thank you card, then you would search for invitations and then you would be able to pull it up there. And then it'll give you the options that you have. 
So I have the option for my front and my back. I have both of those checked. So we'll have the front of the card and the back of the card. Then you'll see paper type. For me, I just choose the premium paper. The premium is the cheapest because if you choose deluxe, you'll see that uh, the price increases here. And then if you choose hemp paper, you see it increases even more. So I use um, premium paper. I usually use matte finish as well because as you can see, if you choose gloss or uncoated, the price changes as well. I keep square corners. And then I usually go ahead and do 50 invitations because you save 55%. You can do as little as one all the way to 1000 and then you would just go ahead and click on continue and you can download a pdf copy to see what the print version is going to look like let's go ahead and download and see what that looks like so that's the proof copy you look at it make sure everything looks good once everything looks good you go ahead and click on add to cart and then from there you can go ahead and check out it'll just ask you to enter your name your contact number your address and then for economy delivery it's free that's usually what i choose it usually gets here in like i think like five to seven business days or something like that and then you will go ahead and click on place order now i told you if you stuck with me to the end i was going to show you how you can also use canva ai so here's how so let's say right here where i have I hope this purchase reminds you to take a break and unwind. When I click on it, you see where it says Magic Write right here? If I click Magic Write, you can ask Magic Write to continue writing, to shorten, to rewrite, to make it more fun, to change the voice, or you can even give it a custom prompt. So let's say, for example, we wanted to rewrite this. Then I would click on Rewrite, and then it says, I hope this purchase serves as a reminder for you to relax and take some time for yourself. So it just tweaked it a little bit and you can say more like this, or you can say, I like this, but. So let's say more like this and see what it comes up with. I hope this purchase serves as a gentle reminder for you to relax and take some time for yourself. If you like that, then you can come here and you can click on replace and it will replace that for you here. Then you could just resize it and make it fit your template. And then another way that you can use AI is you could come back to the home page and over here where it says Dream Lab, you can click there. Or you could click here that says make me an image and that'll open Dream Lab up as well. You can describe a type of image that you may want on your thank you card. So let's say for example, airbrush cartoon image of a beautiful black woman relaxing reading a book. Clip art style white background. I'm gonna keep this the same which is smart and aspect ratio one by one. Click on create, let's see what we get. All right, so we got these three images here. I like this one. And so if we wanted to use her, then we can download the image and then we can bring the image into our style. And let's just move all this over a little bit. So we'll highlight everything, make it a little bit smaller so that we can move it over here. I don't know if that's small enough or not. And then we're gonna click on background remover. Now this is one of the um, reasons that you would need the pro version because as you can see on the background remover, you see a crown here. That means that you have to be on the pro plan in order to use this feature. But this is one of the features I use a lot. And even though we removed the background, the couch is still there. So I think I'm gonna edit it and then I'm gonna go to Magic Grab because a lot of times when I use Magic Grab, I can kind of remove any of the elements I don't want in the photo. Even though I love her being on the couch, it just isn't gonna work for this thank you card. So I'm just gonna grab her and the book that she's reading and we're gonna leave the couch. And so you see how we can now grab her and then I'm going to delete this back part right here. And so let's say if we wanted to include her, then maybe we could put her in the corner over here, like so, like that. And voila, you have your business card. Super, super cute. Let me know in the comments if you've designed thank you cards before, or if you're excited to try Canva for thank you cards for your coloring book business. And if you're ready to use Canva AI to create your coloring book, then watch this video next. Until next time, bye-bye.